Happy Whiskey Wednesday, everybody, and happy National Dog Day. I uh, got my first guest appearance here on uh, Smoking Jacket Whiskey Review. My dog, Duke, of course, is one of them to, to say hi to everybody. Uh, this dude, this dude's been with me through thick and thin, right? Um, anyway, uh, crazy week, lots of stuff going on. Of course, we've got uh, dual double whammy hurricanes in the Gulf. Uh, Marco is hours from landfall and uh, you know I know a lot of you guys in the Houston area Louisiana area a lot of my buddies uh, Trey Martinez my cousin uh, deputy sheriff uh, in and around Beaumont um, right in the middle of it of course doing what he loves doing what he loves hats off to you Trey um, this week's edition uh, got a little something special maybe a little a little education for some of you guys or gals uh, new to the whiskey game. Uh, under the sniper veil, I've got something, something kind of special. But before I unveil it, I'm going to give you some some highlights of the bottle itself, and then we're going to kind of go into what exactly that means, right? So under the veil, we've got a single barrel cask strength whiskey. What does that mean, right? A lot of folks uh, might might not know. Single barrel simply is a, is pretty simple to explain. One barrel into a bottle, no mixing. A lot of whiskeys, you'll hear the term blended whiskey. What blended whiskeys are is they take a bunch of barrels in a big lot, they dump all the barrels into a vat, and then they're bottled. Uh, it's it's easier to gain consistency. Uh, a bottle is a bottle is a bottle. Um, Jack Daniels will always taste like Jack Daniels. What single barrel does is it puts the burden on the dis master distiller to provide a consistent and quality product batch after batch, right? One barrel, no mixing. It demands consistency. It demands quality. Again, blended whiskeys, nothing wrong with them, but they kind of get away from that. It's a lot easier to get a consistent bottle of whiskey when you're blending hundreds of barrels into a vat and then pouring it into a bottle. What is cask strength? Uh, I put on uh, my story a little, uh, a little quiz, multiple choice thing. What cask strength is, and is also known as, is barrel strength. A lot of whiskeys, most whiskeys, are diluted right out of the barrel. What does that do? Well, one, it lowers the alcohol by volume content, ABV, and it kind of helps with taste. Um, it makes it more palatable for people. Um, it takes away a little bit of that heat, of that burn when you're drinking it, uh, straight out of the barrel. Um, most whiskeys sold um, that have been diluted are around 40% uh, ABV. Cask strength bottles tend to hover 52 to 66% alcohol by volume. So a little bit increase in, uh, in alcohol content, uh, less diluted, no water. The whiskey in question is a true Texas whiskey. Whit Myers Distillery located here in Houston, Texas. Veteran owned, family owned, uh, two brothers, two brothers who joined the army after 9-11 um gun bunnies both of them i i, I think and uh but we won't hold that against them but both served in the first infantry division in germany both did a stint in iraq in 2004 and uh and one of the guys uh met, met a girl met a girl in germany and learned about distilling and fell in love with the process fell in love with the idea came home and uh they decided to open up their own distillery in harris county in houston uh, they are at the time and currently there's only about three or four distilleries in Texas. Whit Myers is the only, first and only distillery in Harris County. They got a bunch of stuff in their repertoire, uh, their, their original bourbon and rye, one of my standards. I've always got it on, in my bar, uh, a great, good, good, good whiskey, uh, the single barrel, a Texas whiskey, um, a Texas peach. They also distill uh, Space City Vodka and Sassafras Gin. They've got a heck of a location. I got to visit it this past week. They got a tasting center, they got a bar, a lot of cool stuff, swag, t-shirts. I even uh, I even bought myself a, uh, a Glen Karen with their logo on it. Very, very nicely done, very, very pretty. Um, 
you know, good, good, nice, nice, nice operation. Always wanting to support veteran owned operations. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and, uh, and take a look at our bottle. Um, their bottles, very nicely done, very nicely labeled. Of course, a lot of the Houston um, identifiable uh, landmarks in Houston, you know, Texas all over the barrel. I love the wax. I love the wax ceiling. Um, those of you all familiar makers, Mark is the big one, right? Everybody recognizes the big red, uh, the big red wax that you got to peel back um, to, to get to the to get to the good stuff. Uh, dis uh, distilled from grain, of course. Um, if 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 you love Texas, uh, we love you, we love you, Texas. So please drink responsibly. Um, real real nice stuff. Real real good stuff. Um, this bottle. Um, according to what I've learned about their single barrel, um, was not distilled at their facility. However, it was aged there. Um, again, it is a, a cask strength uh, single barrel. Um, they're not done. So one thing about this wax stuff, man, it's, it can get tough. Uh, it, it, go, uh, again, uh, pull directly from the barrel and into the, bar into the bottle. Um, no mixing, no distilling. No, nothing. Um, definitely a, a treat. You get you're you're getting what you pay for. Um, why do distilleries like to dilute their whiskey? Couple reasons. Again, kind of touched on them. This thing's giving me some hell. Um, couple reasons. Finances. Right. Uh, if you distill it, you get more. Your yield is higher. Um, two, as mentioned before, uh, palette. These barrel proofs, cask proofs, can uh, be a little stout. They got that little burn. There is no dilution. Um, as you know, people add water, add ice. Why? Make it easier to drink. Oh, wow. <sighs> That's nice. Definitely smell, smell some vanilla there in the nose. Um, again, this direct pull directly from the barrel to the bottle, uh, 110 to 115 proof, uh, Whitmire's is 56% ABV. Um, why is the barrel important? Um, the barrel is important because 80% of your flavor comes from the barrel. How you ask? Well, the color comes from the charring inside the, the, the cask, the barrel. Um, Whitmire's uses white oak and they char the inside. They, they get big old torches, they char it, and that's where you get a lot of your flavor, um, your smoke, and your color. It comes from that charring. Um, Whitmire ages there is five to seven years. Um, nose is, is nice. Uh, I smell, you can smell the oak. You can uh, very uh, light caramel, light brown sugar, some vanilla. You could definitely tell this thing has not been just, uh, diluted. Um, strong, strong alcohol uh, nose. Not medicinal, um, but but uh, uh, you, you can smell the alcohol. <sighs> Let's take a sip. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you feel this. It is um, very smooth, 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 smooth. But again, very, uh, again, as I've noted in a couple other videos, that evaporative property, um, as, as you take it down into your, into your tongue, past your tongue, down your throat, you get that, 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 as, I, as, I, as <laughs> I'm gonna have to trademark that, that uh, as it's going down, you feel this. It is, uh, it is, it is a, it's not, it's, the flavor is not, uh, over the top, you know, it's not bold, but it, it's, um, I'd say a medium, a medium for flavor, but you definitely get that kick that this is full strength, right? This is not, this hasn't been diluted at all.
There ain't no uh, messing around with this. It is, again, um, not painful. Um, the burn isn't, it doesn't, you don't want to pull away from it. It's warm. It's, uh, it's, it is comforting. It is, you know, it, but it's, 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 it's there. You know, there, there is no, um, it isn't, it isn't delicate. Flavor wise. Yeah. I'd say medium. Um, but that fire, uh, it, it, it it's good. I'd say I'd say a heavy medium. It's it's not over the top. It doesn't make you want to gag, right? It doesn't want to. You don't have to go searching for a glass of water. Um, definitely feel that burn. It's still in there. You know, it, it it's it, it is it's good. It's great stuff. Uh, a uh, solid A for Whitmire. Um, again, cask strength, bar single barrel, no mixing. This. This is the type of stuff that demands attention to detail during the production process, quality during the production process. You can't hide, right? Um, it's easy to hide large batches, mixing, blending, right? You can hide errors. You can hide faults. This, you can't. It, it's, you get, it is, I don't know, but I would assume that if you get a bad batch, you're not putting it out right? You lose the barrel. You lose the batch. It goes down the drain, right? Um, you can't, you can't do that here. Uh, you can do that. You can get away with that again with the blends. Um, not here. This, this, this whiskey, uh, it commands, you know, it, it's quality stuff, quality stuff. I, I, very, very good. Very, very good. Travis, hats off. Um, we are connected via social media, though I've never met him. Uh, nice type, nice guy, nice guy. Very, very good. Apart from having a little bit of trouble opening the damn thing, um, it was a good bottle, good pour, um, enjoyable. Uh, real, real good. Like I said, a solid day. It's a sipper. This is a sipper, not a shooter. Um, if you're shooting this, you got you got you got expensive taste. This is a uh, a sipping, a sip and smoke type whiskey. Again, uh, happy whiskey Wednesday, everybody. Um, pour yourself, pour yourself a whiskey. Uh, reach out to a buddy again. Um, it's never never a bad time to reach out. Uh, lastly, I've been toying with the idea of doing something live. Uh, gotten some feedback from y'all go live go live let's talk to you let's have actual feedback live feedback type thing I'm, I'm playing with the idea maybe this weekend we'll see what this this storm does what the weather does um again love y'all thank you uh i hope you enjoy this stuff like share subscribe pass it on i'm trying to reach people uh trying to bust out of that little you know my my friend's circle right i'm trying to reach out bust out um, if you like what you see, if you're enjoying this type of stuff, um, uh, pass me on, man. Pass me on. Again, Whitmire, uh, single barrel cast strength, uh, www.whitmiredistillery.com. Um, they're out there, whitmires.com, whitmires.com. I'm sorry, I, I gave you the wrong address. There you go, whitmires.com. Check them out. Good stuff out here. <laughs>